Hello everyone! Oh, and welcome back! Welcome back to Parkosaurus, where I have some somewhat sad news. Our wonderful Brachiosaurus, Bonnie, is actually very sick, and it is finally time to turn our eyes away from the utter chaos of, uh, oh, and this should be Honeyflower Meadow. The utter chaos of Honeyflower Meadow, named after one of our amazing patrons who make all of these adventures possible. And look once more out to Domi's Domain, which really does need to be transformed so that our Brachiosaurus, who is only one week old, will have a chance to be able to get better. She will have a chance to be able to thrive after we rescued her as a teensy tiny- Oh my gosh, the Gigasaurus got loose! Ah! Oh my goodness gracious! Okay, we need stronger fences. We need stronger fences. We need stronger fences for sure. I think I need to start putting down concrete fences anywhere. Yeah, I need to start putting down concrete fences anywhere I don't expect guests to be able to like look at our animals. <laughs> and here is our security guard, Socha. The donation box has been destroyed! No! Let's request a repair on that. Come on, Socha! For crying out loud! Get over here, dude! Oh no! Our Kentosaurus has managed to catch one of our guests! What is happening? Put him down! Down! Not the, down! You're not allowed to just carry the guest around like that! Ma'am, are you okay? You guys, that was a little bit of drama. I'm sorry that our morning has started like that. Blake, please calm down. Note to self, replace the fencing with concrete anywhere that the guests don't need to look at him soon. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, Bonnie. I know that you're getting sick and we need to take good care of you now, but we have been doing so much for all of our dinosaurs, you guys, ever since we rescued them from those tiny pens and we are trying to give them the best life that we can here now. So let's start with Bonnie today here inside of Domi's Domain. Once again, thank you to Domi, who is one, Domi Chan, who's been a patron of ours for a long time, making these adventures possible in the utter rough hardness <laughs> that is trying to do anything YouTube y uh, in this era. So if you guys could help us with those adventures, do please check out our Patreon and it would mean the world it really would but all right let's carry on we're gonna make a prairie so we have now transformed this into a desert with a ton of sand and if we add in a few little ponds you can see we're starting to get it needs to have oh we're in the prairie yes we have now made a prairie for our wonderful domi okay so now what do you think about that domi the biome of this exhibit is not prairie. It's almost there, I think. I mean, it says it's prairie to me. There, that's a little bit better. Maybe we just need to splash a teensy bit more water around. Okay, um, and I'm gonna get a little bit more water just in case, because I'm not sure about this. An odd colored poop in Domi's domain. The dinosaur may be sick. I am worried about that for sure. All right, let's add more water. And let's actually flatten this too, because I don't think that Domi needs any kind. There we go. Okay, yeah, we'll flatten that. And apparently Domi does need a little bit of roughness for this to be considered a prairie. But let's add in as many plants as we can as quickly. Oh. <gasps> I need to unlock new plants. I need to unlock new plants in order. Wait, the donation box has been destroyed. Oh, it's been repaired. Thank goodness. Yeah, I need to add in new plants in order to really make this... Uh, healthy for Domi and I need to unlock new plants. Okay, so we need to unlock the sand trees and the sand bushes and that means getting the Acme security first. We have to unlock Acme security. Lowers affect guest intrusion. Oh good, so then everybody will feel a little calmer and I think it adds balloon shop? Or if we use balloon shop it does that? Oh heck, and we just managed to complete the third objective for taking good care of this place. <gasps> Mission complete! Woo! Okay, so seven days. We have a good net worth now. Um, we have four exhibits. And I guess that's actually taking good care of this mission so we could look at the world map. I mean, I want to do that. But like, we're committed to this area now. This is my new favorite park. I want to just like, look at how big it is. 
this this is going to be home base guys we might go on other expeditions and, and in fact let's go ahead and check out like ye olde world map i suppose um because we're gonna want to like look at it right i mean no but i want to look at the world map because we just earned three more ship pieces uh all right oh cool wow so the more pieces the more little ship thingies that we unlock and ship zoom zooms then we can unlock going to australia africa asia at some point in the future um and it looks like is that the abandoned interesting and you can gain even more zoom yeah and they can continue there thank goodness we're going to continue there in just a second but with the ship repair pieces we can actually improve our overall parks so ship repair I would like Soothing Dino Roars, plus 30% decoration effect on guests when a dinosaur roars. That sounds amazing. Like asthma dinosaurs. <laughs> Incubation growth speed, uh, laser drill, plus 50% speed of automatic digs. I'm not really into the automatic digs. Super compost, earn more money when finding dino poops. Oh my gosh. Okay, can you just like jump straight to super compost instead of do normal compost? Because that's kind of OP. Uh, let's see. Prehistoric math would lower the employee salary cost, but I've not really felt like that's a big deal just yet. Self-help books would increase employee, um, employee education. T-Rex accountant would reduce employee salary. Uh, free egg. No, no, no. I think what I'm going to do... I kind of love the soothing dinosaur roar. I think that that's really cool. <laughs> um, and compost, that, that may help out a lot. Earn money while finding dino poop. You know what? We're gonna go for it. We're gonna start composting dino poop and it's gonna be fancy and fantastic. And now I wanna add it into zoo crafting of all places. <laughs> and we're gonna do that. Boom. Okay, so now we have larger donations and we should gain money whilst composting. So we're gonna carry on at the abandoned park for a little bit first. Uh, interesting. But there's a bunch of other stuff that we could probably take care of in the near future. Privacy, learn how to make the exhibits more private. Bonus ship repair time if you do it in four days. And we might work on privacy next. Oh, and if we had done all of this in two days, then we would have gotten a bonus ship thing. But I'm okay. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. This is going to be home base. Because, come on, it's it's the dinosaur sanctuary. In fact, we're going to rename this in... We're going to rename this... Well, I guess... I don't, can I rename this park? That's a good question. I would like to rename my park. Abandoned. Overview. I would... I, okay, I don't think I can rename my park. I wish I could. Uh, calendar, dino book, resumes, dinopedia, park info. Hmm, we'll work on that. But this is going to be home base. It was formerly abandoned park, and we're going to transform it so that it will become a beautiful dino, dinodesia, dino paradise. Uh, can I do anything else? Now I have to wait until we have 12 hearts in order to do anything for our little brachiosaurus. So... Let's actually work on getting more paths over Yonda. Let's do rock paths. And I want to increase five by five. Now let's do like three by three along here for the Kintosaurus. And then we're gonna get paths right up here so people can start seeing these dinos. Here we go. And I'm actually gonna... There we go. We'll just make like a nice little spot here. And then you can actually see the Kintosaurus down this side too. Ha ha! And we'll listen to our little ones. There. Oh wait! Suga caught a thief and escorted them out of the park? Good job! Oh, and then our, our, um, our maintenance person is good to go. So we're gonna add speed on our janitor for now, I think. And with the little bit of money that we have left, I cannot put down the balloon shop. And I cannot put down the dino dogs just yet. <laughs> but I can add some decorations. So hopefully people will stop complaining about, like, how things aren't decorated. 
<laughs> I could paint a big old rock pile here. Wooden arch. Ooh, a nice stone arch. Can I put that over here? What about over here? Heck, oh, it's way too expensive. It's 5,000? Who has the ability to put down like 5,000 anythings? A concrete pagoda. Uh, there's a log to increase our guest's sense of wonder. A potted plant, rock pile, hedge. I mean, the boxed wildflowers are kind of cute and the boxed hedges are kind of cute. All right, park's gonna close in just a second. Here, we'll put down a couple boxed wildflowers on either side of the benches to increase our guest's sense of wonder. <laughs> that sounds good. And maybe some potted plants over here. Yay! All right, there we go. Oh, I'm pretty happy with this. Yeah, a lot of construction that we did today and seven hearts gained today. Yes! Some of our dinosaurs are happy. Yay! The only one who's not happy is our Brachiosaurus Bonnie. And let's actually give Bonnie a bit of medicine. Oh, and I haven't renamed everybody else. I think I only renamed like Peter and Inna and Blake and Bonnie and everybody else needs new names. So we'll work on that too. Oh, it's raining today. This is the first, whoa, Bonnie, you've gotten so big. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give Bonnie um, lasers. Let's give Bonnie an injection to see if that helps. I don't know if that's what we actually needed to do, but I think that will hopefully help Bonnie. Hunger. And Bonnie, hang in there. We're gonna try to make you as happy as possible. It's just hard. <gasps> we can get the trees at least. Let's do sand trees, friends. All right, we can at least get sand trees down for Bonnie. And look at how big Blake is getting. Archentosaurus is definitely growing. Bonnie, hang in there, dear. I know. I would be very upset if I was you too. Oh, little ironwood trees. Oh, look at the mesquite tree. I love mesquite trees. Okay. There we go. Two. Three. Four. Here's elm trees. Oh, acacia trees. Yes, Bonnie, look, they're as tall as you. Here. Uh, you're still alone, but you don't have to feel as alone. Come on, Bonnie. It's going to be okay. I'm putting down acacia trees because I freaking love them. Uh, and then I'm going to get a little patch of water right here so that it will take care of that tree. There you go, Bonnie. I know it's not like 100% yet. I can't get you any of the bushes that you deserve, but I can get you the shale. Okay, we've got this, guys. Sandstone and shale. Ooh, that's actually really cool. Here you go, Bonnie. What do you think about this, eh? Okay, that looks amazing. I love piling the rocks up like that. It just looks fantastic. All right. Hang in there, Bonnie. I think Bonnie may have gotten her shot. So we'll have to see. Dinosaur is still sick. She is social and she doesn't have anybody, but she seems like she's doing a lot better. Her happiness is up, which is really good. Her sense of privacy is definitely going to be, oh wow, look, she feels looked at by all, I mean, Bonnie, I'm, I'm sorry. At your particular size, my dear, it, it's a little bit of a pinch to try to provide you with the sense of privacy you may be seeking. I, I don't want to, like, uh, upset you with this reality. You may have outgrown a sense of privacy. Trust me, I know how you feel. You get big enough in, in somewhere online on, on the fact that you're gigantic. And then it feels like your privacy is an ever-precious thing. But I hope that helps you. Uh, the exhibit is not very private, considering adding opaque walls. Okay, maybe we can actually come over. Oh, and we can expand Bonnie's area a little and use concrete. Like back here. Okay, can I put... Why can I not... Oh, because there's a tree in the way. Can you believe how much these trees can just, like, get so in the way? Alright, I know. Odd-colored poop. She is sick. I'm working on it trying really hard there we go and i'm gonna give bonnie all of this spot and let me come down and we're gonna actually give her some concrete 
anywhere that people aren't going to be looking at her, which unfortunately is only a teensy bit of the zone, but hopefully it will help. All right, let's add that. And we're going to go ahead and fix her exhibit. Okay, how's this? It is now a savanna, so I need to add a little bit of roughness. Come on, up, 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 up. Elevate a little more. Now it's a prairie. Now you need to add a few more trees. I'm gonna add these little ironwood trees in a few spots. I love these like random little, little, um, oh, what am I even gonna call that? They're kind of like mesa plateaus. They're really fun. <gasps> look at that pretty shale. Oh, I love decorating. Wow, look at that rock. It's just very satisfying to create like a really, really nice spot for your dinosaurs. Okay, that's looking fantastic. I actually really like Bonnie's, Bonnie's area now. I think her privacy, it's not very private. Consider using opaque walls, adding privacy tiles or removing paths touching the exhibit. Uh, hopefully it'll be enough. She's still alone, which I don't like. How do we unlock other areas to be able to investigate in the portal? Okay, we need to go ahead and do some digging really quickly to get this out of the way. I can rotate. Oh, I didn't know I could rotate like the directions that people faced. Noted. All right, our security guy is really good at finding a bunch of stuff. All right, meanwhile, I need to do a little bit more of the fine tuning. Nice, okay. So there's that and this. Nice. And I can come in with a more delicate touch. And then let's see, so I can actually, nice! I had no idea I could actually rotate because I wasn't paying any attention to the big thing that says rotate over to the right here. Uh, where my employees could actually aim for. So there's that. And then I can come up and grab that. And then I'm gonna have, just because I don't know if this actually helps their, their um, experience or not, but I wanna try it. There we go. Okay, so how do I unlock like the Sauropodia area? Oh, and there was a thief! Good job. So how do I unlock Sauropodia? Hmm. That's a hedgehog hut. That's a bow for cute decorations. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on that. Is it over here? Like Sauropodia, no. Is it something in town? Oh, there's a bank, nice. Okay, Um. I should have noticed the bank by now but I did not. All right, I think we have plenty of food. I think I can actually like lower how much food we get delivered every day just a bit. So we'll test that out and see if that's okay. Um, hmm. And then I'll have to figure it out. I'll have to like look it up and do a little bit of research about how you unlock new places to dig. Cause that's what I want to do next. I just feel like it would have to be in science, wouldn't it? Somewhere in science? Oh, we have a lot of science, heck! All right, yeah, we have a lot of science, so maybe I need to be working on science. Uh, in fact, speaking of working on science, smart water, pour water onto the ground. Um, let's see, a wonton truck. And we've got a bunch of, ooh, like plants I could get. What would I want to work on first? Mr. Manager, there's a taco shop and a banana stand that we could get for people. Stay out late, which has a bunch of lighting that people could use. There's stone bridges, glass walkways. How cool would that be? An employee lounge to unlock your employee's potential. I mean, that might be kind of nice. And an admission booth and a science gate. Get science credits from guests that walk through? That would be so fun. <gasps> research University. Oh, you guys know I love the research stuff. And there's a bathroom pack that includes an avocado. What? Increased desire orange topia by 100%. Wow. So that would be to like increase people's desire to go to orange topia, I think. And a picnic table. I think that we'll work on... Oh, and there's the outhouse and the picnic table. I think we'll work on employee learning and then the bathroom pack. And then, wah! 
And then we're tossed over here. So we earned eight hearts today. All right. Phew. Okay, guys, I'm going to do a little research to see what it will take to actually start being able to go to new portal zones. But I think we finally have Bonnie mostly happy. Look at her. Oh, I'm so happy. And I love our abandoned park, but we may be able to learn some new ways of taking care of our dinos if we travel to other zones too. So that's definitely not off the list. Uh, and we might want to start using these hearts soon to search out places that will give our dinosaurs even more toys to be able to play with. So there's a lot, a lot to take care of, especially because our Kentosaurus is still, oh my gosh, needs more toys, <laughs> needs more toys. <laughs> Especially because there's still a lot to unlock and to try to take care of for our dinos. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Bonnie. Feeling a little cranky this morning, but once she calms down, I'm sure everything's going to be fine. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh, bye-bye!